Okay, go on. Okay, so what we're showing here today, this is uh, at the VMware booth. This is the brand new LG Optimus Black. It was just announced uh, actually on Sunday of this week. You can check it out at the uh, LG booth if you're interested. And what we're doing with VMware here is this would be my personal phone. I go, I buy a new Android phone, an LG Optimus Black. I load it up with all of my own personal applications. You know, for example, I like to go use Facebook. And then um, I go into work and I tell my, my work IT guys, hey, I just got this new phone. I'd like to go and be able to um, use it as my work phone. Well, most of the time what will happen is, you know, your IT guy will say no. Here's, you know, if you want to use a work phone, here's a BlackBerry. And so then you end up walking around with two phones. You have a, a work phone and a personal phone. And so what we've done is tried to come up with a way that can actually um, alleviate that problem, both for the enterprise and then for the end user. So enterprises want to have a phone that's secure, that they control. Users want to have the cool latest phone. So what we've done is we've virtualized Android on Android. So what you see here, this is VMware VM. So I work for VMware, I push this button, and all of a sudden a virtual phone launches. This is my work phone. It has all of my work apps that are provisioned to me live over the air from VMware. And then I'll also have a separate phone number and a separate data plan so that it's completely independent of what I do on the home side. Now, what uh, most people ask is, okay, well, how can you have two phone numbers on a phone? So what we're finding is a lot of enterprises are very interested in extending their PBX solutions and using voice over IP for the, the work phone number. And then the, the carriers are quite happy to have the second data plan because there's more revenue to be made from a data plan than you know perhaps from voice. So it seems to be working out. Um, we have other OEMs that are interested maybe in a, in a dual SIM option or perhaps even a virtual SIM. So then you just switch back. So if I were to get an email from, uh, from a colleague at work, what will happen is I'll get a, a notification up here. The, uh, the phone will vibrate or ring. I can have separate ringtones for both the, the personal uh, side of the phone as well as the work side of the phone. I would just click here and I can go and I can answer the phone on the work side. Uh, do you have any sort of other shortcuts instead of clicking the button uh, on the home screen? Do you uh, have like, any other choices uh, for what? Uh, shortcuts, uh, like uh, some button on the phone. Uh, so yeah, so it, it'll really be dependent upon um, each individual OEM that we work with. So in Android, all of your notifications typically come up at the top. Yeah. So depending upon our work with each OEM, if you get a uh, email, you would just press on the notification button that pops up at the top, and then you would go straight to the email that just came in. Uh, it will it, it will be available in all platforms, iOS. Uh... So that's a very good question. So we're starting first with Android. Android is okay. now the world's most popular. Yeah mobile handset operating system. We think it's a great opportunity. We're seeing a lot of interest from enterprises for Android. Um, we'll explore other operating systems. There's nothing technically that prevents us from you know, virtualizing any other operating system. It's really just a matter of um, working with the different OEMs and carriers to, to make that happen. Um, is this uh, VM running directly on the phone? Yes, it's what's called a, uh, well, let me let me rephrase that. It's a what's called a Type 2 hypervisor. Oh. So it's running on the host operating system. So this will be the host, right? This is the host OS. And then just running on top of it is that guy right there. And what about performance? Well, you can see it, it transfers pretty quick between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we don't see... You know, much of a performance hit. It certainly, you know, it does take a little bit of uh, overhead, a little bit of processing power. But with all of the modern phones that are coming out, we don't see any trouble at all. Um, you know, this is a new LG phone. They have now, I think uh, Qualcomm just announced a quad core, two and a half gigahertz Snapdragon processor. So you can see processors on the mobile side are now um, very fast and um, plenty powerful to be able to handle something like this. There's no performance issue at all. Okay. Okay.